In starting the motor examination, we're going to, first of all, just look at the upper extremities. And the first thing we want to do is just stand back and look at the muscle bulk, any symmetries, asymmetry. Looking at the hands, the hand intrinsics. Looking at the back of the hands. If there's any muscle symptoms uh, of any tenderness or weakness, I would actually maybe want to palpate any tenderness or problems. Was I? No. Okay. Good. We're now going to look at range of motion, and we'll do go through range of motion as far as the at the elbow. Just totally relax. I'm just going to wiggle your arm back and forth, and then look at range of motion at the wrist, back and forth, and look at supination and pronation. Just kind of wiggle back and forth. Very good. And look at this side again. Range of motion, back and forth at the elbow the wrist, supination, pronation, very good. Okay, and look at strength now, and what we're gonna do is start proximal and go to distal. We're gonna have you hold your arms up like this. Don't let me push down, testing the deltoids, which would be C5. Want you to hold your arms up like this, testing the biceps, which would be C6. And now I want you to put your arm out straight. Don't let me pull it back. And that'll be the triceps, C7. This one again, we're going to try. Very good. And now hold your wrist up. Don't let me push them down. Keep up there. That's C8. And down like this. Don't let me pull them up. Very good. And then hand grip would be T1. Squeeze tight. Very tight. Good. Don't let me go. And now let go. I want you to put your hands out like this. So we're going to go wide. Testing the dorsal inner osseae. Very good. You can also look at uh, a position of the thumb and the little finger. Put your finger there. Don't let me pull through. Good. Same thing over here. Great. And now I'm going to test reflexes. And we'll start with the biceps. And again, just let your arm just rest right there. The triceps. And let me just support your wrist here in the brachioradialis. And over here. Again, just relax. Biceps, the triceps. And let me just support your wrist in the brachioradialis. Good. Okay, just let your fingers rest against my fingers. We're going to test the same thing over here. Okay, good. Last thing we're going to have you do is just hold your hands right out in front of you, palms up, hold them still, close your eyes. You're going to look for any type of drifting or pronation, and there's none. If you were to have a pronated drift, which would be an abnormal response, it would look something like that. She has no evidence for that. Very good. We're now going to look at lower extremities. And again, we start off by inspection. And first thing we're going to compare with right and left and looking at the muscle bulk and size. See so if there's any differences. Again, if there's any uh, muscle symptoms such as tenderness or weakness, or the feeling for the consistency of the muscles. Now we're going to test um, tone. We're going to go through range of motion. Just relax totally. Just let me wiggle your leg. Looking at the uh, knee. And then looking at the ankle. Just relax. I'm just going to wiggle your foot. Look at any evidence for clonus. And there's none. Range of motion is complete and full. We look over the left side, going back and forward. You have the ankle. Moving it. Just relax totally. No evidence for clonus. Very good. Now we're going to test for muscle strength. We're going to start at the proximal uh, extremity and move to the distal and start with having you uh, lift your leg up. Don't want to push it down. We're testing the iliopsoas, which would be L2. Um, now just relax. We're going to have you uh, squeeze in with your knees and you push out and testing the adductors and then the abductors push out. Good. Now have extend the leg all the way up. Looking at the quads, that would be L3. And now have you bend the leg back here. Hold it there. Don't let me pull it out. Testing the hamstrings, which would be about L5. 
And now have you bring your toe, your foot all the way up, test an anterior tibial, which would be L5. Now put your foot all the way down, would be S1. And now we're going to position your foot down and in, and push out would be the posterior tibs. And now down and out, the perineal muscles. Good. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to ask you to push your leg up like this. Don't want to push it down. Good. Let it relax. Knee out. Good. Hold it there. Don't let me pull it out. Good. Bring your foot all the way up and your big toe up. Don't let me push it down. Very good. Now push down on my hand. Good. And let me position your foot in. Don't let me push it out. Relax. I'm going to push it out. Don't push it in. Very good. We're now going to test reflexes and start with the knee jerk. Just relax totally. And compare to the other side. Good. And we're going to now test the ankle jerks. Just relax, just totally relax. To position it. Good. And we're going to try the other side. Again, just totally relax. Very good. We're now going to do the plantar reflex. Watch just hold still. Try not to pull back. Just relax as much as you can. We're going to put down the lateral aspect of the foot and then across the ball of the foot. Very good. I'm going to do it right over here on this side. Same thing. Just relax. Okay, there you go. Very good. We can look for evidence for other pathological reflexes. And we're going to now test for frontal release signs. I want you just to just loosely close your lips. Good. And I'm just going to push. No, don't, don't push again. Just relax. Totally relax. Good. Looking for a snout reflex. You didn't have any movement there, any suck or uh, root. I'm going to stroke the palm. And what we're looking for here is called a palmamental reflex, which would be stroking the palm and looking to see if there's any type of contraction of the mentalis muscle. So we're going to stroke, and there's none, which would be the normal. And now on the other side, Looking at the mentalis muscle right here. No evidence for contraction there. Let's have you uh, climb down from the table. And now we're going to uh, test to see uh, you know, your strength as far as the pelvic girdle muscles testing against your own weight. So I want you to go ahead and do a squat and rise without using your hand. All the way down, coming all the way back up. Very good. And now coming up on your toes. Good. And now on your heels. Very good. That's good. 